Hello and welcome to the channel everybody. In one of the previous videos, if not the last video, we switched my simulator PC from my old case to a brand new Cooler Master Master Box TD500 mesh. And it comes with three RGB fans at the front and that's all it kind of came with. It has spots for three more up the top and one in the back. Now I put one in the back anyway because I believe you should have a minimum of one at the back. So currently it has three at the front, one at the back. And I did some benchmarking and it showed that this PC in this configuration is about 10 degrees cooler on average compared to the old case. Pretty good, huh? I really wanted to know how much more cooler can we get it if we add some proper fans, not this basic cheapo fan that I got in a cheapo case at one time years ago. We'll take that out and we'll whack in the Inwin Serious Loop uh, ASL120. Uh, three hundred and twenty millimeter fans from Inwin with RGB controller. It has the little ring lighty thing going on there. These are a four pin fan with a minimum speed of five hundred RPM and a maximum speed of eighteen hundred RPM and a dB of twenty seven dB max apparently. I'm just going to unpack the box from the bottom because why not? That way, if I need to return it, hey, look, never opened, never opened, brand new in box. Don't tell anyone my secret though, just keep this between you and me, all right? Let's uh, have a look at one of these fans. Plastic seems pretty good. Don't seem too cheap, and these were pretty cheap, by the way. These were probably one of the cheapest packs of three RGB fans I could get. Most RGB fans in a pack of three come at about $80 Australian, thereabouts. These ones were 59 bucks Australian. Um, obviously nothing in here actually lights up. It's just the ring around the outsides here, which is a full, full ring. It, it doesn't have any parts in that side, but on the back, there is gaps here, 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 and here. It's not a full ring on the back, but the front it is. It comes with these little rubber bumper things. Peel off like so. And then you stick them right in there. It takes away any vibration noise that you might get. This must be why they're cheaper. Most other ones you don't have to put there. They're already on. But they couldn't they couldn't afford the labour see, to put those on. So you just get them cheaper. <laughs> Which I'm okay with, by the way. I'm not complaining. Cheaper is better. So all the panels are off now. We've got our pads on the fans. And now I just got to pull off this fan that we're not going to be using anymore. I could use it, but I feel like I don't need to. And I don't think it'll make a single difference in CPU temp anyway, even if I did. And let me show you why I say that. So we're going to have this in one here which is going to be the main fan that I'll turn up quite a bit in the RPM because I want as much airflow to come through here as possible and then we're going to have two of these here and here because that's all I think we really need because if we have one here I mean, what's that doing there? Not much. 
There's nothing there anyway. They've got fans here, and that's only going to be pulling air from here, up here, and out the top. Which it doesn't need to. It's not cooling anything here. There's nothing here. And I don't want airflow to be going up here. I want it to be coming through here. So for that reason, I'm actually not going to link these fans here with this one at all. Here, in terms of speed anyway. I'll link them in terms of RGB, but I'm going to run the fans off a separate header because I want this fan to be going quite a bit faster than the two fans that are going to be sitting here and here. I just want these two fans at the top to be going at a reasonably slow pace. But I want the front fans and the back fan to mainly dictate where the airflow is going. So what I was saying before with the daisy chaining, these fans come with these ones here. These are your fan speed. These ones here are your RGB. Now you can link these RGBs with the other two by these. Plugging those in there and then the other one in there. And so the RGB and the color will be linked between all three. But for the single fan back here, even though it comes so you can daisy chain these to make them all run at the same fan speed off the same header, I'm not going to do that with this one anyway. I'm going to plug that straight into one of the headers. But then these two up the top, I'm going to be plugging that one into there and daisy chaining these two for here so they can run at the same speed. Now for the RGB, you can use this. This is your RGB controller. Plug this into some power. Then if you wanted to, you could plug the RGB straight into there. And this will control your RGB. I don't need that because one I already have an RGB controller in here for the front fans and two I do have an RGB header here on the motherboard so let's get to it okay so the fans have been screwed in this one's plugged into the header on the motherboard here and then I've plugged this one straight into one of the system fan headers here and then I've plugged this one into that one daisy chaining it off there and now I just have to run all the wires including all the RGB wires through this little hole here and all these through here so I can find them in the back okay, so I've just pulled all the wires through the back for the system fan headers, I've just put them all together and sort of cable tied them here to the back so no one can see it. And then the RGB ones, I have uh, just pulled out one of the Cooler Master front ones and then daisy chained all three of the RGB fans up to that one and straight into the Cooler Master RGB controller. So hopefully it's going to work. If not, we have to go to the in-wind controller. So despite my concerns, hooking six RGB fans up to the single Cooler Master RGB controller it did actually work. However, for the purpose of this video and reviewing these Inwin fans, I decided to hook up the Inwin controller just to show you the lighting effects the Inwin controller has and what you can expect. And it doesn't have many colors, but I do quite like the effects. I mean, the effects look really good, especially since it's just 
the ring around the outside. If it was the full fan, it wouldn't look as good, but these effects look really good with these fans. And I've found with these fans, they don't seem to be uh, too loud or anything, despite the fans being able to get up to 1800 RPM. Uh, they seem to be quite reasonable. So if you don't have an RGB controller or Asus or a Sync or anything like that, I think you'll still be quite pleased with this setup and the RGB controller that it comes with. But now I just wanted to check, will running six fans compared to the three pretty good fans and one not so good fan make any difference in terms of temperature. So I opened some benchmarks and racing games and things like that, and recorded all my temperatures compared to the temperatures I got before uh, when I just installed the case. And I found next to no difference here. And by next to no difference I mean about at one degree Celsius of difference. So the six fans will make a small amount of difference and all the CPU fans, the GPU fans are all running about the same speed as they were before. Um, but yeah, the temperatures just either didn't go down or didn't go down much. Um, the biggest temperature decrease I got was in a pretty hefty game that went down about 2 degrees Celsius but other than that uh, not so much which in my opinion doesn't say anything about these fans necessarily but more so says six fans isn't going to give you a significant difference over some pretty good fans at the front and just one meh fan at the rear uh, but definitely don't regret buying these fans. I think they're really good and I'm going to change these fans to the front of my case and I think that'll actually make more of a difference uh, than just running three good ones at the back. Um, I'll let you know if I have any problems with them down in either the comments below or, or the description and that's about it. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.